out of all the drivers Lee Pradia shares the road with on any given day. It's always that one. That one driver who gets dangerously close or turns into a case of road rage. Just take a look here. And then one gentleman decided that he didn't like us cycling on the road. That driver going around the group, putting on the brakes, then starts yelling for them to get off the road. You're angry, but you're also trying to defuse. Yes. You know, because the law of tonnage, that, that rules. I don't want to get run over. It's one of many instances Lee has recorded on his bike cam. This was me riding alone. Showing the dangers that can come on a ride, this incident taking place within 100 yards of his home. This happens to us on a, almost every time we ride. Lee is part of Team Life Cyclers, or TLC, one of at least a dozen different cycling groups in Corpus Christi. But are these close calls worth the risk? You know why it's worth it for me? At one point, I couldn't walk. Riding for me keeps me, keeps me moving. It's a quality of life. We're trying to push for a way of life. Jerry Gomez there, says so the really TLC took. riders are trained on the rules of the road. Stop, look, and listen, just like we do with our kids. But he says he has seen the number of close calls go up. Back and we start to look at what is happening with the motorists and why it's getting hostile, not sure. But to me, I believe that it's lack of knowledge lack of the education. So what is the law? Cyclists are allowed on the road. If you're in a car, you must yield to bicyclists when they have the right of way, just like any other vehicle. The city's ordinance says you must be at least three feet from the cyclist when passing, six if you're in a truck. For bicyclists, the same rules apply as if you're driving a car. That means stopping at stop signs, red lights, and yielding to others that have the right of way. If there's a bike lane, the cyclist should use it when it's open and free of obstacles. We encourage individuals to slow your speed uh, and share the roadway. So an avid cyclist, city manager Peter Zanoni, says his own Whoa! riding group had a close encounter this weekend on Ocean Drive. It was too close and we, we feel uh, it was unnecessary. Uh, clearly uh, Ocean Drive has two drive lanes. Uh, the Jeep could have gone to the left lane. Uh, and stay clear of the cyclist. Gomez says they will never win against a car. He says it's that education and awareness that will make a difference for drivers and cyclists alike. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.